busy. Come on. Get back in there. I'm digging my way to China. What if I break through and a whole army of Chinamen come out of here? Hmm? That'd be trouble. Yes, it is. <laughs> How much you charge? First, some house rules. No guns. You will give your guns over to me, and I shall return them upon the conclusion of your business here. I do not part with my shooter. Friend, the only shooter you will need here is the one that is between your legs. <clears throat> How much? Girls are five dollars for an hour. Ten dollars for the night. Drinks are 50 cents, meals, one dollar, hay and water, 50 cents, and there is also a $20 deposit. $20? You get it back, provided you do not leave a mark on my girls. Baths are 50 cents, gentlemen, and baths are mandatory. Welcome to the best little in Mexico. Mm -hmm. You might want to try that with a customer from time to time. Next. Well, you're just going to stand there? You're going to take off your clothes? Oh, shy are we? Not like I've not seen a packer before. Aren't you going to change the water? Oh, would that be strawberries you'd be wanting with your champagne? Get in. Speak nasty. Talk nasty. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. You're not going to tell anyone, are you? No. I make you a deal. Instead of me pleasing you, how about I teach you to be a great lover? Thunderation. <laughs> oh, damn, babe, that was fantastic. All right. Let's see how we did, shall we? Tara, that is. 210. That's 205. Interest, my dear. Interest, just like the bank. Would you please sign here? That is highway robbery. That's what that is. Well, I suggest you write to your congressman. You three, out. As you well know, you owe me $302.33. Now, why don't we just take $10 out? If you get down in Frenchman right now. I might bite it off. 
I said French, not Mexican. Okay, twenty dollars right now, upstairs. And watch you pull on your limb string. It's tempting. But no thanks. Try not to lick any lemons on your way out. I wouldn't want them to turn sour. Just because you bet at a couple sportsmen don't mean you can't clean up after yourself. That doesn't make you one of us, neither! Is there a new cure for deafness? I am not the housekeeper, and that's the end of it. Deaf, you bitch. Can you check on my Oh, you're gonna read me the Bible now. Good girl. Rolling paper. Oh, wait a minute. I got something to show you. Back, please. Thank you very much. How much you pay for that machine? Two dollars? Two dollar. Something. You pay two dollars for a machine that rolls cigarettes? Yes, I did. But you don't smoke. Ada, my dear, I may live in the present, I may remember the past, but my mind is always on the future, unlike yourself. You know, trying to have an intellectual conversation in this house is like searching for the Holy Grail. Oh, thank you very much. Enjoy a taste of the future. to shove in this woman's mouth. She's, She's gonna bite her goddamn tongue off. You stand up and make her. Hey, okay. Here. Mira, cabron. A rat. There ain't no goddamn rats in New Mexico. Bulls, mice, yes, but no rats. There are rats in New Mexico. Oh, really? There's skunks that aren't here. Really, really, really. Yeah, where there's food, there's rats. My gosh, Tara. All this time, I thought you was just a two-bit dumb Mexican. No, turns out you're a world expert on rats, right? Bubonic plague, rat spread bubonic plague. Great big black boils under the armpits. They get so big they crack, weeping seams of yellow pus. So what are you gonna do about the rats? Show me a rat and I'll do something about it. Eyes are kind. What part of our previous conversation did you not understand? Ah, I know. I know. I'm sorry. I was inebriated. And? I made a nuisance of myself. Get back on your sorry mule and return back to the filthy hole from whence you came. I'm doing nothing wrong, Sheriff. It's not what you're doing. It's who you are. You can't help yourself. You're a wretched waste of skin. A nair do well. Nair what? A nair do well. I'm gonna go in there, sell my skins. I'm gonna get some supplies. And I'm leaving. Get on your fucking mule now. What do you wanna do? Kill me? Got one. A hundred more to go. <laughs> Why doesn't he just put down poison? Because it's too cheap. He's going to shoot every single one. <laughs> <laughs> You know, life would be so much easier, Essie, if you just learned to show a little respect. <laughs> well, why don't you be a deer and clean that up, hmm? That's you, Martha. I 
touching that thing? Am I disturbing you? Do you care? No. What are you going to do about our rodent problem? Fine, I'll go into town tomorrow and buy some poison. What's the matter with the guy sick? Is it so difficult to show just a little bit of respect? Well, what goes on between you and Essie is none of my business. You know, I think it's time we tightened our belts around here. I'm cutting back on the rations. No more whiskey. No more back here. That's it. Ezzy, can I have a word with you? Angel, can you bring this to the porch? I'll be there in a minute, okay? I want you to apologize to Enoch. Are you crazy? He's just cut our tobacco rations. So? So? He's up on the man. Personally, I like to live in a place where nothing happens when nothing happens. Look, if that man can't have your love, he'll take your hate. That's his problem. No, that's our problem. He'll take whatever he can get from you, and then we end up paying for it, so... Just apologize to the man and quit baiting him for Christ's sakes. You stubborn bitch. Enter. What? I guess I said some things that were a little inappropriate, so I came to apologize. What do you want? I came to apologize. What do you really want? face? No. Sniff in your ear like a puppy? No? <laughs> Ezzy, what are you doing? A la chingada con él. A la chingada con todas ustedes. No voy a aguantar un día más en este p... mierda. Bueno. In, in English. I'm leaving. Oh, and how long do you think you're going to last in the desert? I'll take my chances. You're not going anywhere. Stop your foolishness. There is kin by blood, and there's kin by kind, and you don't choose neither of them. Now stop your bloody belly aching and put away your fucking clothes. Oh, come here. Look. It's a miserable fucking world. I don't know anyone who's happy. I don't. Come on, all better now. Come on, no need for tears. No need for tears. Where's my pendant? This is not the time. Please get out of my room. Not until you give me my pendant. I didn't take your <laughs> pendant. Now get the fuck out of my room. Would you bitches stop bitching? You're working on my nerves. She stole my fucking pendant. Yeah, she's fucking crazy. You were in my room yesterday. Don't lie. Puta, I was putting your fucking towels away. Tara, are you sure you didn't mislay it? No, it was in my top drawer, and I didn't touch it. 
What's it look like? It's a little gold heart with a picture of June in it. I was saving it for Angel. Well, we'll look for it and we'll find it, I promise you. Oh, could you please give an old whore a bit of peace and quiet? You too. All right, you two. You are in charge, and you, you behave yourself, all right? Don't worry, I'll be back this evening with the old rat boy. <laughs> Drop you. <laughs> Come on. What are you drawing, Angel? Oh, that's lovely. It's beautiful. Look at Zee. It's very nice. Ada. Yeah? I'm thirsty. Well, go on. Get yourself some water. I'll go with you. She's a big girl now. She can get her own water. Go on. I'm bored. Would you stop your fucking complaining? It's free country. I can complain if I want. Come here. You got a fucking easy, you do. My mother spat out a baby every year for 12 years. She dug turnips, fed pigs, and she got bit till she was near cripple. Mm. And did she fucking complain? No. Did your daddy beat you? Oh, for fuck's sakes. My daddy never beat anybody. Well, if your da was such a saint, how come he sold you to the highest bidder like you were a piece of meat? He without sin, Martha. He without sin. How old were you when you started? I can't remember. Oh, fat and stupid. Better than being old and hateful. Oh, I'll take old and hateful any fucking day. Thank you very much. <laughs> What's going on between you and Enoch? I think he's soft on you. <laughs> what? What's soft. so funny? <laughs> I'll open the door wide for you so you can get in. Oh, shut up, you old hag. My day says I'm just fine. Thank you very much. about four coyote pelts for another round. I don't buy stolen goods. Can't steal from a dead man. <laughs> I'll give you six pelts for another round. Now, what am I gonna do with coyote pelts, huh? You know, no, not think about fashion. See, coyote pelts are all the rage in Gay Perry. Gay Perry. Gay Perry. All right, you look here. Y'all want another drink? You put money on the table. Step up. Samuel. Winner. Yeah, how about it, Pimpy? You want to buy a pelt? Thank you, no. You stop harassing my customers, please. Now, why come every time I see you, you got yourself on a different suit? From the golden days? You know that. That and a, that and a watch. It's more than I got. Hey, what happened in the Millwoods? Passed by their place. It's all bored up. They're going down California way. That's what I reckon anyway. <laughs> all your customers are scurrying away. <laughs> huh. Screech your whiskey. Screech. Who's the fella hanging out front? He was a trapper. His name was uh, Hazard Kaya. We live in unjust times. Amen to that. Yep. Good God, that's horrible. So you still uh, scratching around your backyard looking for your magical pot of gold? Oh, you know I am. Tell me honestly, if there was gold out there in your backyard, 
Wouldn't you have found it by now? And why are you the only one out there looking for it? Hmm? Well, there are geological reasons, which are far too complex to uh, share with a tradesman like yourself, you understand? No offense. Besides, man's got to keep busy. You ain't busy enough with a house f I'll tell you what. Why don't you take that broom and start sweeping around the bar here because it's uh, not as clean as I like. And that's how you keep this place clean, is it? Well, Samuel, you, you should have notified me of your preferences long ago. I could have sorted you out down at the house. We take care of all kinds of people down there. No, sir. I have my woman right here. And all she cost me is food. Well, if you change your mind, variety is the spice of life. I have plenty of broomsticks. You don't keep your damn broomsticks, okay? Just give me my pipe, my slippers, and, and my witty. You're a wise man. I'm very wise for not stepping foot in your brothel, sir. Well, then you are a wiser man than me. In that case, uh, perhaps you could help me out. We're having a bit of an infestation of rats. Rats. Rats, okay. Let me see. Well, you, you, you don't want this because uh, it's a little too uh, expensive. Mm. What you want is this right here. Two pounds of my home-cooked witch's brew. Eradicate, exterminate, eliminate. Do the trick, I tell you that much. You gentlemen behaving yourselves? Yes, sir. Uh, good as gold, Sheriff. <laughs> good to hear. That's it. Things have been slow. I can show you the books if you wish. I want my money. Right. I need a few days. All right. I'll give you a few days. Notice you've been busy? Yep. You don't uh, shoot a couple near doers unless you. Hang them up for display. <laughs> Fear is a great arbitrator and corrector of men's behavior. Ladies behaving themselves? More or less. Did you hear what happened up in Sedona? I don't get out much these days. Crazed horror. Stabbed a cowboy in the heart. Sounds like a song. It's not funny. Listen, I'm not trying to tell you how to run your business, but I am a student of human behavior. And I can tell you this, there's no animal or creature in this earth more dangerous than a woman with larceny in her heart. I hope you get the rest of my money, huh? Yeah? Man. You have to have a bath first. Is it absolutely necessary? Absolutely. Lukewarm, that's how I like my water. Way. 
Slowly take your clothes off. <coughs> Slower. Now, slowly take your clothes off and tell me about the little girl. Senor, I'm sorry I cannot do that. What are you going to get your money back? Get your money back. Get out. 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 Get Trousers. Yeah, oh, my fingers getting mighty itchy. You papist Irish whore can't be. Get the fuck out of here, you bloody Englishman. I'll shoot you. Won't be the first time either. Go on. Is brew for you. I should have gone back down. Here you are. Lock him up. How bad is she? She's bruised up pretty bad, mostly scared. You should have killed him. I know. Wish I had. Tara, did you find your pendant? No. Me neither. I looked everywhere for it. You know, it's the only picture of June that I have. What if I don't remember her face? Oh, sweetheart. You remember her. You won't forget her. Good friends are hard to forget. You know, we came out west together. Chased her dreams together. And now she's dead and I'm still here. Well, no, don't fret yourself. This is the place where dreams come to die. I buried them out a long time ago. Why did you come here? It wasn't by choice. I never wanted to leave Ireland. I had to leave. It's a long, sad, boring story. Ada, have you noticed that a lot of things have started to go miss around here? What do you mean? We got a thief. Who? Who do you think? I have no <laughs> idea. It's precious. That bitch can hear when she wants to. I'm gonna keep my eye on her. Well, you know... Deaf my ass. It's not her deafness that bothers me. It's her stupidity. I swear. I've seen butter knives that are sharper than that one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who would even want to fuck her? Well, you know, a man will pay for something he wouldn't accept for free. Mm. Why would anyone call it precious? I mean, what kind of name Oh, is no, that? no. It's pre-choise. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's French for team and whore. <laughs> yeah. Come on now. You gotta eat a little bit. This is the uh, this is the book I was telling you about. Alaska. Go on, you dog. Are you ready? From the majestic vistas of the wilderness, incomparable in grandeur and majesty, the mountain ranges of the interior filled me with an inexplicable sense of well-being. 
from the heady ice-capped slopes to the temperate plains, which by their sheer sublime beauty can never fail to astound even the most jaded of eyes. Surely the physical manifestation of the maker's hand himself. I said, just imagine wrapping yourself in bare fur, fresh cold wind on your face. Not the stale cold like it is here, but fresh and invigorated, a new type of cold. You know, it's not difficult, come on. Just three little words. I love you. That's five words. glittered like gold and hope she held in her hand her face warm parsa turned cold so so he gave her a fine wedding band do you like my song angel yeah come here i want to show you something come on oh but you mustn't tell anyone it's our secret not even enoch knows you keep a secret Tips? They're for you. I'm gonna give them to you when you're growing up. And you are gonna grow up to be a fine young lady. You're gonna live in a big house all your own. And one day, you'll meet a Prince Charming. And he'll have manners too. He'll open the door for you. He'll take off his hat when he comes into a room. And it'll be grand. And he's gonna look in your eyes, Angel. He's gonna love you. He's gonna cherish you like I cherish you, only different. One day you, this man, you're gonna have children all your own, and you're gonna love them. You're gonna cherish them like I cherish you. And you'll grow old together with that man. And the only thing you're ever gonna hear in your house is the sound of children laughing. But you gotta keep this a secret. Can you do that? Can you? Shh. Think you promised now? Okay. Go on with you. Go to bed. It was grave misfortune that found me. Put señoritas. conmigo a México. No hay nada aquí para ti. ¿Vas a hacer qué? Yo tengo una casita en Changamal. Quédate conmigo. Estoy segura que a tu esposa le encantaría eso. La verdad es que la gente pobre como yo no nos casamos por el amor. 
ella tenía tierra y un hombre sin tierra no es nada mírame a mí yo muevo ganado dos veces al año y gano más que otros ganen en una vida entera y por eso aprecio a mi esposa ¿cuán mal sería si me mante? Eh? mejor que ser puta Vamos. y no te olvides con el hombre de su madre es algo especial es la esposa que tiene que sufrir la mierda ¿y qué haría yo para ganar aquí de rojo? yo te cuido yo sería tuya hasta que encontrarás a otra mujer más joven. Nunca me respetarás. Tú nunca respetarás a una puta. Ahí lo veo. Tú estás enamorada con la tragedia. Con eso no puedo competir. Das Pferd in die Scheune und clean her up. Give us something to drink. Well, are you going to invite me into your shithole? If you please. Good darling. Quite the edifice you have here. Congratulations. Well, the sun did shine on me for a short while while the mines were open. I heard you tried your hand at mining yourself. I had a couple gold mines, yes. Gold mines? That would infer there was gold in those mines. Not in enough quantities. <laughs> Obviously. Who was the uh, girl you brought with you? Oh, God. Some little bitch thought she could run away. Not that she's versed much, but letting her go would have set a dangerous precedent. Precedence, darling. Precedence, not president. <laughs> Whatever. Gabby, why didn't you just... Send somebody. 
This business is all about the personal touch. You can run, but you cannot hide from Madame Gabby, etc., etc. Uh, we are in the middle of a meeting, so if you don't mind. Wait, wait, wait. Come here, darling. Don't be frightened. A pretty little thing, aren't you? And what is your name? Angel. A very pretty name for a very pretty girl. How old are you, Angel? Go on now, answer. Enoch, I'm a stranger here, and Angel is shy. Aren't you, Angel? Maybe when we get to know each other a little better, you can tell me all about yourself. Would you like that? <laughs> so would I. What a charming little girl. Is she yours? I adopted her after her mother died. Her mother worked here? Yes. And she's not yours? Of course not. You have such a big heart. Decorated this yourself? Indeed I did. Who is she? I'm Gabby. She works out of Las Cruces, high end stuff. She and Enoch go back a long way. Well, since the mine's closed, we've had a bit of a dry spell, but as they say, when you're at the bottom, there is only one way to go, yes. There is no bottom. The bottom is an endless pit. Get rid of optimism. Optimism prevents one from making hard decisions. Well, this is only a temporary situation, Gabby. Once I make enough money, I intend to close shop and move to Alaska where the rivers still run with gold. How much do you need? Why, are you offering to be my partner? She's even got the governor wrapped around her little finger. Were they lovers? Who knows? Lover, mother, teacher, whatever it was, it weren't natural. No bloody wonder that the poor man's got a broke dick. What I want to know is what the hell is she doing here? Visiting. Visiting my ours. That woman, there's pure, undiluted evil. Evil don't visit. Don't fucking visit. <laughs> Eleventh commandment. Thou shalt not have partners. Amen. I will buy her from you. Gabby, the girl's not for sale. In four or five years, she could be worth something. Gabriel, you expect me to say all of oh, Spare me the sentimentality. How much? I will give you six hundred dollars. That's a good price. Look at it from my point of view. I wouldn't even start recouping for four or five years. I just like the sound of children around the house. Well, the girls have become very fond of her. Eight hundred dollars. That's my last offer. And what about Precious? She's beautiful. First she offered 600, then she went up to 800. He told me if he had a thousand dollars, he'd close shop and move to Alaska. No, he loves her. Oh, love. Please, he's a, he's a pimp for Christ's sakes. If he thought he'd get a thousand dollars for her, he'd sell her to the Black Widow herself and not miss a fucking heartbeat. Well, we can't let him sell her. Look, I don't pretend to like the man, but even he would never do such a thing. Well, if you say so.
Madam Gabby asked me to feed her. There's coffee in the house. I can guard her for you. What's your name? Mary. Mary. Where are you running to, Mary? Anywhere. Oh, no. Shh, shh, shh. There's always the next time, yeah? There's no need for tears now. Tell me something, Mary. Does Madame Gabby trade in children? Where she keep them? In the big house. That's out of town. And how many does she have? There's me, Sarah, Rebecca, and four real young ones. How did you come to be in the big house, Mary? Daddy needed the money. Go on. Get up. You're gonna need your strength and you're gonna run away again. I taught you everything you know about this business. You owe me. Sleep on it. Think about what I said, darling. I'll wait for your reply. The indomitable spruce stands like a sentinel against the ravages of time. It has luxurious branches, the canopy of which shelters a wide and abundant variety of shrubs and grasses. Oh my God, he's mad. What the hell does he think he's going to be doing in Alaska? <laughs> Hear oh, no. the word of the Lord, you demon vipers. No, 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 John, the friggin' Baptist, John. Hear my boot crack the bone in your butt, you friggin' molly. Den of lascivious strump of forgery, honeying in vile, like vinegar dropping into milk. Oh, John, is that what you want me to do? So straight! <laughs> <laughs> Johnny boy! Oh. Daughters of Babylon? Oh, yeah, Babylon, this! <laughs> <laughs> Watch me play with myself. <laughs> laugh, laugh while you can. But remember the judgment day as you strut your wares around the hanging gardens and ziggurats of visceral pleasures. A, B, C. Pay attention now. What's the next letter? <laughs> Hear ye the voice of the Lord, you daughter of Gomorrah. For the road to hell is stained with the fallen petals of your defilement. All right, that's it. I've had enough. She's heading off. <laughs> but the fruits of pleasure are rotten. Here, whores, harlots, and slaggy. John is back. You don't say. So get rid of him. It's a free country. What is he? Struck a raw nerve, has he? If you're not going to do anything about it, I will. Give me your gun. Sure. Lieutenant Angel. 
Oh. Keep going. You're at K. Just uh, try not to shoot yourself in the foot. The tears Ooh. wash away that fetid stained ring on your eternal souls. Oh, I want you that to wash me. Sin mm -hmm. no more. No one likes a three toed hoe. John, you can go fuck off now. <laughs> there is no reprieve in the rank sweat of your inseminate beds. <laughs> I will shoot you, John. Go home. <laughs> I just almost died. You cannot tempt me with your lascivious kisses and languid caresses. <laughs> shoot the bastard. There is no joy in that pox-ridden flesh box of moist foulness, inflaming the hearts of men. Shoot him! I got a bullet for you. Jezebel! Jezebel? <laughs> <laughs> I'm warning you, John. Repent. I will shoot you. Mm -hmm. On the count of three. One. Turn your face to the living God Two. of grace. Hear the voice of the Lord. All right, that's it, John. Crying in the wilderness. That's it. Three. Jesus Christ. <laughs> As well as you've shot, you might have a few more repeat customers. Well, you do fuck as well as you shoot, so. Would you like to find out for yourself? Oh, I would, but then I'd have to kill you. Sign if I blunge it. In Ergistisch, sign me. This is America, what is Ergistisch? Ellie. What? Is that the Nishka Potman? What? Zaken voor dronen. Weet je niet, wat is je machine kan voor mij nog? Drie. Ik moet gewoon aan, red niet. Zes? Nee, 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 nee. Gentlemen, I, I just, I don't want to waste your time. Pick it up. Feel it in your hand. Feel the quality. I have a case full of guns. Men of culture. Books. We have. I, I really don't want to waste your time. Thank you, though. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, uh, I have something. It's uh, very expensive. It's rare. Uh, maybe, uh, yeah. model, bring it in the pot machine, if I did, come back from the shop. This is amazing. Okay. What is it? The music box? I bought this from great man. Schlupen. Dr. Anhausen Schlupen. Smart, you can't believe he only made uh, 20 of these. He said to me, you see this box? This box will change the world. Hmm? All right, what's in the box? Anhausen's masculine rejuvenator. Hmm? With this box, you drink all night. You still, boom, boom. Your wife, she smells disgusting. Chazarai, we are like a, like a pig. It's no problem. Headache, backache, stomach. Eh, eh. No problem. Two minutes with this machine. Mm. 
all night. How's this rejuvenator in the O's work? You, you clip uh, to your pee-pee, hmm? yep. and then you vine it, vine it. Huh? So it's basically a dynamo that gives an electric charge. Uh-huh. And as everyone knows, electricity is imbued with the vital power of magnetism, which would then, which would then stimulate the muscles. Exactly. Now, does this, does this machine only work for men who, uh... No, 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 this is for everyone, for every man, strong, weak, young, old, it's every, every man. How much do you want for it? <sighs> A machine like this, it could be good for your customers. A place like this, you could rent it out. Hmm? I'll give you eight dollars. <laughs> I should take eight dollars. Eight dollars for my schlupen machine? All right, ten then. It's the machine I bought on ten dollars. My brother is upset. He uh, six months ago our horse Fertel. He kicked him in the uh, Rosenkess, and uh, he, without the machine, he is. Uh, Well, can't you get another one? Yeah, in, uh, six, in six months I could get, but uh, I should have to watch my brother suffer for six months. So this, this, this really works? Two minutes. All night. All right, <clears throat> $15 then. Grab das Geld. Mm. All right, fine, 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 fine. Listen, listen. This is twenty-seven dollars. This, this is all I have. I'm offering you. I'm offering you all I have. One minute. Let me. Uh... Look on, have this so and we have nappies. This glad machine. My brother, it pains me to see him like this. My poor brother. Give my brother and myself one last glorious night as men. Hmm? Twenty-seven dollars. Women. Food, water, hay for the horses, laundry, bath, and uh, that box of cigars. Hi. <sighs> Hi. Did you get a full love? What, you never seen a true man before? No. But it's a cruel thing, that cutting off the flapper like that. I mean, what do they even do with it after they... Well, they bury it. You know. Bury it? Bury it. Mm -hmm. You'd have to bury me first before I let one of those heathens <laughs> touch my baby's business. You ever been with a heathen before? Oh, well, plenty of times. Feels queer, does it? Well, you'll soon find out. What are you talking about? No. No. <laughs> yes. No, as he's taking the Jew No, he's taking a shine to you. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Well, you put it inside of yourself. No, I don't want to know. Stop. It's almost exactly the same, really. Take the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. It's very nice. It's good springs. Uh, well, I'm glad you like them. I've never done it with a Jew man before. Oh, don't worry. As long as you lift up my tail, everything will be fine. Oh, do you want to see? You don't have a tail. All Jews have tails. 
Yeah, it's right here. It's above my ass. Oh, it's wagging. He's happy to see you. Yeah. <laughs> and on a full moon, I turn into a wolf. And that's after I've been poisoning the whales and spitting on the crosses. Anyways, you and I have lots to talk about. But uh, first, let's stop. Hmm? Book. Not the goddamn book. Oh! All right. Now go, get out of here. Uh, uh, all right. Oh my god. <sighs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop, what? stop, stop, what? stop, stop. What? stop, stop. What's wrong? Very springy. Okay. <laughs> yes, you like you like the springs, yeah. yeah. Slowly. Hmm? Soft. Samuel, my friend, when is the next mail carriage due? In a couple of days. Would you be so kind? Now, another thing. Would it be possible to get some store credit? How much? A couple of dollars, enough for some tobacco, some sugar, coffee perhaps. How much for the doll? It's 50 cents. Add it to the tag. Untache. Untache. What does that mean? Free, like the wind. Oh, 
want my money, Enoch. Well, I don't have it. What's this, then? Samuel gave him credit. Damn pitiful. I want my money, and I don't care how you get it. You understand me? I'll be around your way soon. Don't try my patience, Enoch. Free like the wind. Come and get some dinner. It's ready. Oh, I'm not very hungry right now. Thank you very much. She's kind of pretty, isn't she? Are you going to come out and eat something? I'm just not very hungry, Ada. Well, I've spent the entire day cooking, so could you at least have the courtesy of sitting at the table and having a taste? You hungry? All right, we're hungry. Okay, let's leave another touchy up here. You can come play with her later. Come on. Let's get some dinner. Here you go. Let's get you ready here. Oh, this looks delicious. Two, three legs up. Mm -hmm. mm. Angel, would you like to lead us in grace? Amen, Amen indeed. Well, this looks delicious. Please. Well, cheer up, ladies. It's like a lovely dinner. You made this? Mm -hmm. This looks good. Whew. It's okay, you know what? We don't want you getting rickets now, walking around all bow-legged. So here, why don't you taste some of mine? Taste e Enoch! Enoch, no, no, she's, she's a big girl now. She should eat her own food. She's not a baby anymore. Well, did you hear that? You ain't no baby anymore. You're gonna have to start looking out for yourself now. Eat up. Hm. Well... What's the matter? Didn't you like it? I'm just not very hungry today. You don't like it's it? Very, no, it's very good. Don't get me wrong. It's very good. Angel, you eat up, all right? We don't want to get those rickets now. It's delicious, Ada, but thank you very much. Please, share mine. Mm. Go on. Go on inside. Is it enough? I don't know. Well, he only had two friggin' spoonfuls. Mm, got rid of the rats, didn't it? Mierda. What did you do? It's done. Do you understand? It's done. Now, either you're with us or you're against us. What'll it be? Just 
Mm. He never sleeps till 10. You can't just sit here. Someone's got to go upstairs and see yeah. if he's alive, if he's dead or not. I'll do it. I don't trust her. Let her go. Won't make a difference anyhow. Enoch. Something I have to tell you. Why don't you come down and whisper it in my ear? And give me a kiss when you're down, yeah? You're fucking disgusting. <laughs> no part of my job. Why buy her a doll if he was going to sell her? It's a nice going away present. When my daddy sold me, he bought me a dress. Someone has to kill him? Are you crazy? Nice and clean. A bullet in the head. Then we have to get the keys to the cabinet. Too noisy breaking in. Give the game away? No. It's not like you haven't lain with every slime ball in the face of this earth. When he's asleep, get the keys. Then one of us will shoot him. We draw straws. This is going to stop right now. There's no proof of anything. Just what Martha claims she overheard. What, you call me a liar? I told you she's not to be trusted. No. We need a backup plan. Angel, look, look, look. Let's go. That's real go. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, now this is going to be Okay. <laughs> Old fool, they call me digging in these holes. To the victors go to the sports. To the victors go to the pools. To the pools. Good enough. That'll do. Now you just remember, they don't tell nobody about this. <laughs> they can kiss my ass. Kiss my ass. Kiss my ass. You know what? You know what we're gonna do? New game. Fill in in the hole. So remember, we're not telling anybody about this. This is new game. Fill in in the hole. Come on, help me out. Fill in in the hole. Filling in the hole. We don't tell nobody. Filling in the hole. DJ, filling in the hole. Please. What's the occasion? First, a toast. A toast. To uh, prosperity. Yes? Prosperity, ladies, please. Drink up, drink up. I have some good news. Mm. In the near future, I will be coming into a lot of money. Now, I'm not at liberty right now to say how, but suffice it to say, this money will be enough for us to move our current base of operations to Alaska. To Alaska! So beautiful. I've always loved you. 
I don't mind doing it. Get up. So what the hell? Shut up. Get out. Yes, sir. Now. I'll go bury him. No. No, you won't. I killed him. I'll bury him. Just me. Sure. Sweetheart. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. Zenok here. No, he has gone away. You know where he went? He went away on business. He said he'd be gone for two weeks. Can I help you with anything? You tell him when he gets back that I'm looking for him. Will do. You have yourself a nice day. He knows. One thing's for certain, we can't sit around here. Let's go.
What the fuck is she wearing? What did I tell you? Food and water, that's all. Oh, Jesus, What the fuck Martha. are you wearing? What are you wearing? Well, you never know who you're going to meet on trips like this. Oh, good God. <laughs> Jesus, Martha. God. Dios, man. You okay, Angel? I want Papa. I know, sweetheart. Hey. Everything's going to be just fine, okay? Just fine. Now, where the, where the hell is Precious? Oh, for Christ's sake. Someone should have smothered that one at birth. Sure, Save sure. Precious? 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 You yeah, go that's great. Real helpful. You go on inside. Look for her. Go upstairs. I'll look around here. All right. I'll check the barn. We don't have time for this. All right. Here. Samuel, go get your shotgun and saddle up your horses. Crazy horse killed Enoch. Elijah, you guys get your horses, too. Let's go. Uh, I'm Jeremiah. Whatever, Jeremiah. Get your goddamn horse. But you want us to bring the rope, too? How the hell are you gonna hang horse if you don't have a rope? Get it done. Okay. We can't wait any longer. We gotta go. All right, don't worry. I'll find her. No, Martha. Are you sure? I can't leave her. I love you, Aiden. I'm sharing quickly. All right. Go on now. All right. You good? You get up there? Yeah, you can do it, Angel. You got a little ways to go now. It's an adventure, isn't it? It's gonna be great. Sheriff Amschel, come down. Hmm. You want me to go up there and get her? No, the time for niceties are over. Hmm. Mr. Sheriff Amschel, come down. You're wanted for questioning. If you don't come down, I'm going to shoot. Jezebel, you can come out now. going to ask you a question and you're going to give me an answer you understand where have the women gone I take it by your silence that you don't want to tell me but I will ask you again where have the women gone? I'll tell you nothing. Is that right? I have nothing to say. Good night, young lady. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, what do we have here? Huh? All trussled up like a little piggy, huh? What happened to you? Thank God, thank God. God, I'm tired. Come on. Yeah. What's the hurry? I'm kind of enjoying this. Hmm. We're all naked and hogtied. I don't know. Boys, don't come in here. This could be our private moment. You owe me money. Well, maybe I'll just leave you here. Huh? All right, all right. Found it. Found what? Hmm? The gold. Yeah, right. Uh, I found the gold, Sheriff. I'm telling the truth. And where is this gold? Don't hold out on me. Let me know. Hmm? Where is this? Under the goddamn porch. Who be told? No. I'll give you 20% if you want time. I swear to God, Sheriff, please. You're just an habitual liar. The problem is, is that nobody believes you when you're a habitual liar. Because even when you are telling the truth, then nobody, nobody's going to believe you. I swear to God, it is. You've got to believe me. I found it. I'm not lying. It's the truth. Look, I'll give you 20%. You just cut me loose, and I'll give you 20%. It's a mother load, Sheriff. Honey. It's a, it's, a, it's a huge vein. I believe you. What? Sounds funny. I believe you. What happened? You and I pulled the gun on me. Imagine that. No one pulls a gun on me. What, so you killed him? I shot him. It'll take him a while to bleed out, ponder his life, and make amends with the Lord, I figure. Split up. We take the high ridge. High ridge tracks up there. Yeah. We'll meet her there. If we survive. I see. No arguments now. Don't you ride like the wind? We gotta split up. Go. Get us some horses. Get us some help. Give me the rifle. Go on. Right. <laughs> hey, wait for the child. Where are you going? What the fuck? Well, I guess it's us now. Fucking bitch. I was told that when I was born, my mother could not produce enough breast milk. So a nursemaid was hired. A big, large man. So you could say my first taste of nourishment was from the breast of the negress. Strange connections in this world, Samuel. There's no turning back now. Guess it's just us. Guess it is. Guess it always was. Come here, Angel. Come here, Angel. Got some things to teach you. Here. We're gonna teach you how to shoot a gun. We are gonna teach you how to shoot a gun, that's right. <laughs> Is that that Mexican whore on that white galley? Sure enough, looks like. Maybe we should make sure it's her. Whoa, whoa. Hang on, I, I thought you 
said I could fuck him first. Shut the fuck up. Where the fuck's your brother? I don't, I don't know. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Over here? What the fuck is the matter with you? Huh? I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry right. Sharon. No. I, don't, I don't mean to get your shit together. Angel, get down. Get down. Don't get up no matter what. You just let me go my way, and I'll let you go yours. I don't want no trouble. Yeah, why would we do that? Amsel's dead. What the hell more do you want? Look, I've had enough of this bullshit. I have a shop to run, and a wife whose wrath is just as deadly as your bullet. I'm gonna put this gun down. Right here. I put my hands up. I'm just gonna walk the fuck away. Now you can go ahead and shoot me in the back if you want. But I've had it! Good luck to you, ladies. All right. Hey, Samuel! And you go and you never come back here! If you excuse me, I got some place I gotta be and I don't got a lot of time.
riquezas y una inocencia robada.